Welcome back as the Crunch gets set for the Rochester Americans. First game of the week for the Crunch and the first game of a five game road trip for Syracuse. On Countdown to Crunch Time presented by Supercuts, I'm Lucas Favalli with Crunch assistant coach Ken Klee. Ken, the Crunch are on a six game winning streak all at home. The last game was on Saturday against the Cleveland Monsters. A come from behind win for the Crunch. What did you think of the game on Saturday against Cleveland? Well, I, I certainly wasn't happy with our start, but I, I was very happy with the way we, re we responded. I mean, uh, to get down two to a team, you know, and, and basically we looked uh, a little disinterested, I guess, as a, as a good word at the beginning of the game. But then our guys uh, picked it up and said, hey, it's time to work here and, and get it done. So I was, I was certainly happy with our response. Yeah, it's not the first time we've seen this team come from behind. It's the fifth time this year that they've overcome a two-goal deficit, third time from 2 nothing down. So it's been impressive to see why, what about this team has given them the ability to do that here this year? Well, I just think we got a lot of veterans who, uh, who know that, you know, we've got a good team, an offensive team that can put up points and put up goals and uh, you know we're never out of it so I think that's a, a big boost for our guys to know that hey if we're down a couple it's not a big deal just keep playing our system play our style uh, you know obviously we have to raise our game but but you know we know we can get it done having done it a few times now again five times but it was four heading into that game well how does that help the confidence in that situation when you go down early but you know you can you can still rally well having you know a leader like Vance around just to help us rally at all times you know we know Vance believes in us and uh, <laughs> 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 no, it, it's good. It's good boost for our guys to know that we can come back at any time. And the Crunch with a 6-3 win over the Cleveland Monsters, wrapping up a perfect homestand. The Crunch went 6-0 and at a six-game homestand. Really impressive stuff. I mean, this team, when they're on home ice, really tough to beat. Uh, how about that six-game homestand just to get this team back into a rhythm and, and on the winning side of things? Yeah, it was huge. I mean, uh, we had dropped, you know, I don't know if it was three or four in a row, and we hadn't had that all year where we lost more than a game or two in a row. So uh, it was a big boost for us, and now, you know, we need to make sure we keep that same intensity when we go on the road here we need to make sure we you know still you know we're good on the road we early in the year I thought we were real good on the road and then we kind of had a little bit of a dip so I think it's important for our guys to know and and you know our whole team to know that hey we you know we're gonna have to win on the road yeah it's a four game road losing streak for the crunch with six game home winning streak so kind of the the difference there and crunch is still a pretty good road team but what's what's the challenge or the difference in terms of I mean obviously the building and, and things like that but the difference of playing at home versus on the road well you know it's a couple things I think matchups a little a little bit of one thing you know that we see different matchups when we're at home versus on the road uh, we have a lot obviously a lot more control when we're at home with those things but also you know I just think our intensity on the road uh, you know when we're at home you know we definitely feed off our home crowd and and our our energy in this building which you know our, our guys obviously love playing here so uh, but we need to make sure we bring the intensity on the road you know even uh, you know into a hostile environment we got to make sure we're, ex we're excited to play and ready to go tonight it's the Rochester Americans for the crunch fifth matchup of the season with the Amherst this past weekend though it was a perfect weekend on the penalty kill for the crunch 10 for 10 which is certainly something obviously that was important in, in a couple of those games. Uh, what about the penalty kill effort uh, from the crunch the last two games? Yeah, I mean, uh, it's good to see our guys. You know, we're doing a lot of a lot of good things. We still have some areas we'd like to, you know, clean up and be better and and obviously take less penalties. I mean, there's no question that, uh, you know, I, in my mind that if our penalty killing is going to be, if our penalty killing is sharp and our goalies uh, are doing their job, then then we can do a great job. But, you know, definitely Connor was our, our first star of the penalty kill and he did a great job for us, which makes it, you know, makes our guys more confident to be able to, to go out, block shots, play hard and and know that Connor has their back in case there is a mistake or something happens. Yeah, the, the last few games, I mean, you look at the second and third period against Cleveland, and then the first periods in the three previous games here was, I think, a 11, 12 total penalties. So, obviously a lot. And, and how do you clean up in terms of, of cleaning up the penalties? Yeah, I mean, I, I think it's just our focus. I mean, it seems like we've been taking a lot early in games, and you know, that's, it's a little bit of us, you know, maybe not just being as mentally sharp, being a little bit lazy with our sticks, or, or uh, you know, taking you know, kind of in opportune time penalties you know we got to make sure we're we're on it that hey the game's in the line on the first period as well as the third so you know for us it's just make sure we're we take our business we stay disciplined and you know we're gonna we're gonna take some penalties and that's okay but but we need to make sure they're definitely the right kind of penalties that we have to take yeah it seems like they've also come in bunches here over the last couple games crunch are getting set for the rochester americans we're on countdown to crunch time presented by super cuts with crunch assistant coach ken clee and and for the crunch it is the fifth matchup of the season with the amherst last one was just a few weeks ago before the all-star break and it was a come from behind win for the crunch uh, obviously a really important win and these are two teams that are separated by only a couple of points in the standings how important was that game though just a few weeks ago for the crunch's first win against the Amherst this year yeah I think mentally it was huge um, you know to know that you know we can play with them obviously we swept them out of the playoffs last year and, and I'm sure they you know they're reminded of that so 
you know, for me, it's just us being intense. We know they're a good team. We're a good team. We know how they play. Uh, you know, we need to make sure we stick to our style, our system, our structure, and, and make sure we're, we're doing the right things against them. Three of the next six games for the Crunch come against the Amherst, two of them on this road trip against Rochester. Uh, obviously, first place in the division, they're a really good team. What what do they bring to the table that is so challenging, not only for the Crunch, but for the rest of the league, too? I just I just think they have a lot of balance. I mean, they have four lines that can play. Uh, they've got, you know, six, seven, eight D that are all kind of rotate through that can play, and you know they're a solid team. So, uh, you know they've got they've got veteran guys. They got guys who have experience. They have some youth. They have some uh, size, some toughness. So, you know, to me, they're a, they're a well balanced team, and you can tell by their record. All right, looking forward to tonight is the Crunch get set for the Rochester Americans. This is Crunch assistant coach Ken Clee. Ken, thanks for your time and good luck tonight. Thanks, people.